Welcome back to Vectorworks 2013. This is the Design 2A series. I'm your lecturer, James Russell, and we're up to episode 4C. Uh, in the previous episode, 4B, I set the challenge to use the building shell components, the doors and windows tools, to build a model of your uh, apartment or house that you're currently living in. So I've been around my house, I've measured most of the things up that I'm going to draw today, uh, and I'm just going to give it a go, really. So I'm going to time-lapse it. Uh, any of the things that you might seem unfamiliar with should be covered in the episode 4A, which is two episodes before this. So I'm going to give it a go, and uh, we'll see how, how I end up. <laughs>
So I've been drawing away here for a little while now, about 15 minutes, and I think I'm doing pretty well. I've got my uh, whole 3D building going on, but I'm coming to adding a floor, because uh, I'd just like to add one. I, I always feel good about adding one. Uh, and I'm noticing that I'm missing a button here, which I normally have in my custom layout that I have uh, set up, but for this general spotlight one, I don't. So what I'm going to do is switch workplaces here. I'm going to go from my tools menu down to workspaces and I'm going to jump into the designer which is where half of you will kind of live. Spotlight is mainly the theatrical based uh, because it has the all the lighting components and some of the draping components that you'll find in theatrical uses which is where most of the guys who probably watch this are going to uh, live. But if you're a designer you'll be in this mode and the advantage of being designer is one tool here which I'm surprised isn't here. Um, it's called the slab tool and it makes it so easy to do floors. I'll show you there's three options here. You can either draw a polyline that turns it into a floor. You can select the walls, which means I could go click, 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 and then it'd make a floor for that particular room. Or there's this handy one here called the paint bucket, which is just amazing. If you just watch, make a floor in here. Floor here. Here, 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 here. I'm literally just clicking. Bam. I've just made all my floors that I needed. Now, obviously, I could have to do inside here as well, but that's covered by the wall, apparently, so that's fine. So within like less than five seconds, I've made my entire flooring system. And each of these, uh, if you have a look over here in the shape, you can do uh, some different layer uh, elevations. You can have the Z offset for them, so how high they are protruding into your floor. And you've got different stylings as well. So if I drop this down, I don't have any saved at the moment, but you can go in here and add things like carpet, lino, uh, you know, different types of slab bases, different I don't know, wooden floorings, hovering floors, all kinds of things that you might want to put in there. You just click New, and there's a whole heap of different stuff you can put in here, some thicknesses, what color it is, textures, distances, all that. So if you can, you can do all of that. Otherwise, I just use it like that, and, and it just puts a nice little floor in each of my rooms there, as you can see. So that's handy. I'm going to go back, and I'm going to just furnish this out, I think, with a couple of different bits and pieces, put some benches in, just to give you the idea of where I could head with this. So I'll be back soon.
have it, ladies and gents. I've just thrown a few pieces of furniture in to, you know, similarly resemble my place. Um, it's not exactly perfect, but it, it's a really good representation, I think, and I'll try and render it out. I haven't actually had a look yet, but um, there'll be some white walls and that kind of thing, but you, you get the general idea. Like I said, it's very much, if you've played The Sims ever in your life, uh, it's very much like that, buying furniture, placing it down. It's entirely up to you how detailed you go with this, obviously. Um, what I might do is just grab all those doors with my magic wand. No, oh, no. Just change the type sorting on that. Oh, it is on object type. That's nice. There we go. All the doors. I normally like to just put my doors to be um, show 3D open at, uh, you know, about 50, maybe 60 degrees. I just feel that it gives it a little bit more of a look so you know what's going on. That's pretty cute. So I've got my sliding doors as well in here that you hopefully saw. Um, but yeah, all that object stuff is literally just click and drag it in, place it in. Um, you can see I made my desktop counter there as well. And, and yeah, I'm pretty happy with that result. Hopefully you've come up with something rather similar to this. Um, and hopefully you learnt something, especially the slab tool. That was a really handy one for time saving. Uh, there's also the roof tool, which we can discuss later on. But simply select all your all your walls that you've got in your entire space and hit build me a roof and it will do the rest. So that's all for today. Uh, hopefully if after this lesson you'll be moving on to 5A, I believe, uh, which will be by the time I get back. So I will see you then for rendering a very fun and exciting class. See you soon.